In this video, we will look at the various configuration options enabled in the Technician Authorization Level of the Sapphire Infusion Pump. The Technician Authorization Level enables access to all settings, including a hidden Technician menu. This level is restricted to technicians and developers only. In this video, we will focus on the main settings that can be changed from within the Technician menu. Due to differences in software versions, they may not appear the same as the pump version in your hands. Pump versions and configuration menus are constantly updated. However, the basic principles of configuring the pump remain the same. Let's turn the pump on. To configure the pump, press Options in the toolbar. In the Indication bar, we now see that we are on the Options screen. At the moment, the Technician Options menu is not available. To enable the Technician Options, press Delivery Mode and enter the Technician Password, which can be found in the Service Manual on the Password screen. Once the Delivery Mode Selection screen opens, press Exit. This will return us to the Startup screen. The pump is now in Technician mode. Let's start with Hard Limits. Press Options again to return to the Options screen. We can now see a new menu in the list in the main screen. Press Technician Options to open up the Tech Options screen. To set or change the hard limits, press Pump Settings and then Set Hard Limits. Hard limits restrict the ranges for treatments being set up in their respective delivery mode. Looking in the Indication bar, you can see the current delivery mode that the pump is in. The hard limits displayed on the screen are only relevant to the delivery mode that the pump is in. Currently, we are in continuous mode and we can adjust the hard limits for the volume to be infused and the rate. To change the volume to be infused limit, press on VTBI and enter a number between 1 and 9999 and then press OK. To change the rate, press on Rate and enter a number between 0.1 and 999 and then press OK. Press OK to save the changes. To change the hard limits for other delivery modes, we must first change the pump's current delivery mode. To do this, from the startup screen, press Options, Delivery Mode, enter the technician password, and then select the delivery mode for which you'd like to change its hard limits. For example, I'm going to select multi-step. Return to the set hard limit screen by pressing options, technician options, pump settings, and then set hard limits. Since the pump's delivery mode is currently multi-step as confirmed in the indication bar, we can see an option that was not here previously. Repeat these steps for each delivery mode for which the hard limits need to be modified. Next, we are going to set the KVO. From the startup screen, press Options, Technician Options, Pump Settings, and then set KVO. KVO stands for Keep Vein Open, and this determines the post-infusion rate to prevent the infusion site from clotting. On the KVO screen, you first select the delivery mode for which you'd like to set the KVO. Let's change the KVO for continuous mode. Press continuous mode, enter the desired rate, then press OK. KVO can be set between 0 and 20 milliliters per hour for all delivery modes. Enter each mode separately to define the settings for KVO. When finished, press exit. Let's now have a look at the air detector settings. The Sapphire pump has two methods to determine when to alarm for air in line. Single air detection can detect an alarm for each individual air bubble greater than the volume set in the single air detector settings. Accumulated air detection detects every bubble greater than the volume set in the accumulated air detector settings, but will only alarm when the air threshold volume was accumulated within 15 minutes. Note that changing these settings affect all delivery modes. 
To modify the single air detection sensitivity, from the startup screen, press Options, Technician Options, Pump Settings, Set Air Detector, and then press Single Air Detector. The volumes presented refers to the volume of air. Selecting 0.02 milliliter means that every air bubble with a volume greater than or equal to 0.02 milliliter will cause the pump to alarm for air in line. After selecting the preferred setting, the pump will return to the air detector screen. Press OK to save your settings. The accumulated air detection method has two settings, accumulated air detector and accumulated threshold. The accumulated air detector setting determines the minimum volume of an air bubble for it to be detected. From the air detector screen, press on accumulated air detector. Selecting 0.5 milliliter means that every air bubble with a volume greater than or equal to 0.5 milliliter will be detected and added to the accumulated air volume. After selecting the preferred setting, the pump will return to the air detector screen. Press OK to save your settings. The accumulated threshold setting determines the threshold for accumulated air bubbles. The default is 1 milliliter. This means that if the pump detects 1 milliliter of air within a time span of 15 minutes, the pump will alarm for air in line. From the air detector screen, press Accumulated Threshold. After selecting the preferred setting, the pump will return to the air detector screen. Press OK to save your settings. In some software versions, the air detection can be disabled and the pump will not alarm for air in line. To disable air detection, from the air detector screen, toggle the on-off button to the off position and press OK. A warning is displayed informing that the air detection is set to off and a set with an air eliminated filter should be used. This warning will be displayed whenever a user wants to start a new infusion, repeat the last infusion, start a preset program, or resume a treatment after shutdown. Press OK to accept. You'll notice that the air detection off icon is now displayed in the indication bar. Next, we will learn how to reset the pump to factory defaults and to view and set the passcodes for high, medium, and low authorization levels. From the startup screen, press Options, Technician Options, Pump Settings, then Reset System. Restoring factory defaults resets all configurations back to their factory values. This action does not erase preset programs, drug libraries, or event logs. Press Factory Defaults and then confirm the warning message by pressing OK. To see and modify the passwords for the different authorization levels, return to the Reset System screen by pressing Options, Technician Options, Pump Settings, Reset System, and then Passwords. For each authorization level, Press the arrow and enter the desired password using a four-digit number between 1000 and 7000. Last, we'll look at the key test menu under the Tech Options menu. From the startup screen, press Options, Technician Options, and then Key Test. Here, we can test the Stop button and the On-Off button. Press each button and confirm that the status changes from Released to Pressed. This video covers most of the relevant options for service technicians servicing the Sapphire pump. For more information, read Chapter 6 in the Service Manual or contact us at service at